Hey, hey, it's your host Sauce from the Viral Kingdom. And in today's video, I'm gonna be showcasing three different marketing tactics you can use in your own NFT Discord server that will help boost members and create better engagement on your social media platforms. These three tactics are incredibly popular and I see a bunch of other NFT projects using the exact same methods. So if you wanna learn some awesome marketing tactics, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. It means a ton as we're trying to hit our end goal of 100,000 subscribers. If you like NFT related content, you'll be sure to enjoy this channel. I post NFT related videos all the time and I also have an NFT course on how to build your own project, which will be linked down below. Now, before we do get into those tactics, this video is actually sponsored by the Nikoverse. The Nikoverse is a play to earn a massive multiplayer online role playing game that is built using blockchain technology. Players can choose their own paths in discovering, interacting with other players, battling PvP and PVE or just leisurely exploring the world farming resources and crafting items. The game also offers a comprehensive decentralized in-game economy that is driven by players in a guild system utilizing in-game DAO governance mechanics. There's so many amazing features within this project so I highly suggest going down below and checking them out. All of their links will be down in the description as well as their discord server, their social medias and all of that good stuff so huge shout out to the Nikoverse for sponsoring this video. Alrighty so for the first method it is going to be invite whitelist contest now if you don't know what an invite whitelist contest is essentially when you join a nft discord server if you can invite 10 people or more you will be guaranteed a whitelist for that project now this helps incentivize people inviting their friends to join the discord server so they could possibly get a spot on that whitelist now before i show you how to set up that invite tracker i do have to know that people People are very smart and they know how to work around this so sometimes they'll invite a bunch of spam fake accounts using spam bots but there's actually a fantastic discord bot called the BMO all you have to do is add BMO to your discord server and it will automatically moderate if someone is inviting fake people and it will kick them from your server if you ever notice like some servers have like 3,000 people blocked or whatnot in the top stats of their server that is from the BMO bot or a bot similar to it so in order to get invite tracker working you want to go to this link which will be linked down below and hit add to discord then just select the discord you'd like to add it to and hit continue and then authorize Alrighty, so i actually decided i'm going to change the discord servers to my very own viral kingdom one so the first thing you want to do is go to your discord server make two different channels one is going to be how to invite people the next is going to be invite tracker in the how to invite channel you don't want to allow anyone to type messages and basically Basically, you're going to explain how to invite people to a discord server to get the custom link which will track how many invites they are getting and the invite tracker channel is going to be where people can actually check how many invites they have in real time you'll be able to check this by typing in the command slash invites and bam it directly shows up how many invites you have you can also do slash leaderboard invites which will display how many invites the top people within a server have now the best way to hand out whitelist spots to people is by setting a certain amount of invites and in my course I actually go over how many you should set that invite amount to. Also in my course I have a whole graphic that perfectly showcases how to invite and it looks fantastic and you'll have free access to that as well just because I find people never look through the how to sections on a discord channel. But yeah there's really no configuring within the invite tracker website just because there's there's no need to pay for the full version for this bot in my personal opinion. Obviously if you do you'll have access to more features like for example you can set the amount of days an account has to be rated for the invite to count as well as some other awesome features but yeah this pretty much goes over one of the biggest discord marketing tactics that people use which is whitelist invite contests. Now the next one we're going to be discussing is kind of similar and instead of incentivizing people to invite others to your server you're going to incentivize people to talk in your server the main reason you'd want to do this is because the more people talking in your discord server is going to make it more lively and the more lively your community 
the higher chance you have of someone actually purchasing your NFT. How many times have you joined an NFT project, looked through the Discord server for about 10 minutes and realized, hey, this project kind of looks dead. I don't want to be a part of it and left the Discord. I know I've done this a whole bunch and that's why having an active Discord server is so important. I would argue you're better off having no Discord server at all than a Discord server that nobody talks in. So this is why doing this XP grinding, as people call it, is so important. Now, if you're curious on how you can fast forward the XP grinding meta, I actually go through a tutorial on my course on how you can basically cheat the system and get a free whitelist, which you can always go and check out. But yeah, for those who don't know, XP grinding is an incredibly integral part of NFTs as of February 2020. 22, but I don't see it being a thing for much, much longer as there's been a lot of people online talking out against XP grinding. Now, if you still don't know what XP grinding is, basically Discord servers will incentivize people to type as much as possible in a Discord chat in order to grind levels similar to Call of Duty. The more messages they send, the more XP they receive, the higher their level becomes, and at a certain level, you get a whitelist spot. For some of the more popular projects, I've seen people grind out like 40 hours just talking in Discord just so they can get that XP roll, and hey, sometimes it's worth it because the flip could be thousands upon thousands of dollars in your favor. Now you can actually set up the XP grinding levels the same way you did the invite whitelist contest using invite tracker. So on invite tracker you want to go to your dashboard and then go to message counting and hit configure. In configure you can actually blacklist the message channels that you don't want to be used. For example, I'm going to blacklist, let's say scammers, because I don't want people to spam in the scammers channel just so they can grind out that XP. Now setting a message count delay is always a great idea too, just because you don't want people spamming messages. So I would set it to like three seconds. It's really not a lot, but it just ensures that people aren't just like hitting F, enter, F, enter, F, enter over and over and over again. You can also blacklist members that you think are cheating the system and they're not actually talking. They're using a bot, which I go over in my course, how you can set up that bot and how you can actually defend yourself from it. But here is the most important role, the reward roles. Essentially what you do is set a message count. So for example, let's say if someone hits 100 messages in our Discord server, they will receive the King Club membership. Now, obviously I'm not going to set that, but this is just to give you an idea of how you can do it. So you set it to whitelist. So they get a whitelist spot if they reach 10,000 messages and then hit add roll and bam at 10,000 messages, everyone will receive a whitelist spot. Now, if you don't know how many messages you should set, because hey, if you set it too low and then everyone gets a whitelist spot, that's going to be an issue. I actually go over all of that within my NFT course, which is linked down below. Now, a really cool feature that I will say is for the paid version of this bot, which I honestly wouldn't recommend, is hitting your leaderboards. This way people don't have to type in a command like leaderboard invites. But honestly, I don't think it's that big of a deal. And I personally don't believe it's worth paying for this bot just for that feature. Now, the next marketing tactic is going to be one that's not really as common as the first two that I went over. I've seen some really good projects utilize this. One of the best ones that I've seen is the RoboFriend project which I actually just did a review on so huge shout out to them I actually discovered their project before they even reached out to me because of Twitter and the reason is is because of the Robo Raiders discord channel it's so easy to set up all you do is create a channel and call it something raid and then in that raid channel you're going to keep linking popular tweets from big influencers within the NFT space when you link this tweet you want to say hey everyone we're raiding this post right here spam this message and use this artwork now here's a fantastic live example of it being used on twitter so this well-known nft influencer on twitter put out this tweet right here and just look at all of the replies it's all at robo friends beep beep which is the tagline that the moderator said to do and it's just a massive raid from robo friends now anyone who follows po on twitter if they look through the comments all they're going to see is robo friends being spammed and then they're going to be like hey 
I should go check out this project, go to your Twitter, and then they'll find themselves in the Discord doing the exact same thing that all these people are doing. Now, it can be kind of hard to get newer members to do this. Obviously, RoboFriends has a fantastic platform with over 11,000 people in our Discord, so it's a lot easier to host raids. But what you can do is incentivize people by yet again adding a whitelist incentive by stating, hey, if you participate in 10 plus raids, you'll have an opportunity of receiving a whitelist or something like that. And that will incentivize people to do this. It's crazy how hard people will work for a whitelist spot within the NFT space, but it honestly makes it easier on us because these marketing tactics are something we can utilize and add to our own platforms. Now, if you guys have any additional questions, please feel free to leave them down in the comment section. Also, if you want to learn more about marketing your NFT project, like I've said before, my NFT course will be linked down below. I've gotten some really good feedback on it so far, so I know you guys will enjoy it. But yeah, guys, that's going to do it for me. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Peace. See you later. Thank you for watching the video.